Namaste, I'm Dr. Prasanna Karaki. I'm in Nepal Medi City. Ma so I'm working as an associate uh, consultant neurosurgeon, neurointerventionist. And um, I've been working as a neurosurgeon since last uh, eight years. And welcome to Dr. Vyas. So, when I have a tumor, I have a memory that I have a question. What depends on where the tumor is located? The location of the tumor, and I have a approach to the tumor, I have surgery. Our memory store in the brain is very important. Just the organic brain, prefrontal cortex, and the part, limbic system, just the hippocampus, amygdala, and the pathetic brain, cerebellum. If you have a tumor, you have a tumor, you have a tumor, you tumor, you have a tumor, you have a tumor, you have a tumor, you त्यो ट्यूमर निकाले पसी से पेशेंट को मेमोरी ना जाओस बनेरा अब इस तो टेक्नोलॉजी से नेपाल में अपनी उपलब्ध था जस्ते आमले से न्यूरो नेविगेशन सिस्टम बने उनसा न्यूरो नेविगेशन सिस्टम में से क्या गर्सम बने ब्रेन में से कून बाग में से मेमोरी को मैपिंग था अब त्यो हेरेरा तेल लाइ पेशेंट को पनी आउटकम राम रोन सा अब बाहर थी रजून से नया टेक्नोलॉजी आया था यो फंक्शनल एमआरआई बन सा फंक्शनल एमआरआई ले से पहले सर्जरी बंदा पहले से कुन कुन ठामा मेमोरी स्टोर बाको सा रत्यो ठाउ से छुनु उन्ना बने से पहले इंडिकेट वही सके आऊँ सा तेज़ तो प्रविधि से आएगा सा फंक्शनल एमआरआई बन सा वाडा टेस्ट बने सा इस तो प्रविधि ले से हमने पहले ने मेमोरी बाको ठाउ से हमने ट्यूमर सर्जरी करता छुदे नम सो नेपाल में से न्यूरो नेविगेशन सिस्टम ले से हम रोस सर्जिकल टेक्निक से अली मेटिकलस बनाऊ त्यो कारण है जैसे आफ्टर सर्जरी मेमोरी डिस्टर्बेंस ना होना पनी सकता तर कुने कुने पेशेंट में जैसे मेमोरी के ठामने ट्यूमर सेल्स ले ओगटेर बसे हैं उनसा ट्यूमर सेल लेने इन्वेड कर रहे बसे हैं उनसा अब तेज़ तो पेशेंट में जैसे इनएविटेबल नहीं उनसा मेमोरी जाना को लाए सो आइले ये वाला सर्जरी थी अलग अलग कॉम्प्लेक्स थे डेट वाज ब्रेन एवीएम सर्जरी ब्रेन एवीएम बने को से आर्ट्री वेनस माल फॉर्मेशन यो जो ब्रेन ट्यूम ब्रेन माँ उन्हें ये वाला पैथोलॉजी में सबसे कॉम्प्लेक्स ब्रेन लीजन हो इसमें जो रोगों को ना सच गुजर तो बार चाउचाउ जस्तो ब्रेन में बसे को उनसा र आदि ब्रेन को वाग ने ऑक्यूपाई करे को उनसा अब यू पेशेंट से यंग उन्हें थे यंग फीमेल अन्य हमले से सर्जिकल प्लान करे म अब एक्सपेक्टेड है थे इट वुड बी लॉन्गर देन एक्सपेक्ट टेन आवर्स बने र एंड देन वी स्टार्टेड एट एट एम बियान आठ बजे शुरू करे म अन्य गर्दा 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 कोयले बियान को चार बजे थाई बाना सो इट वाज अराउंड एटीन आवर्स ऑफ सर्जरी ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ ब्रेन से निकालने पड़े थे वरी पड़े को एंड इट वाज क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स टीम नहीं थे अभी तीन जाना न्यूरोसर्जन थे इंक्लूडिंग माय मेंटर अने तेज पची से पेशेंट लाई कॉस्टो होला क्यों होला तो एन्जाइटी बॉय रहते हो अने आफ्टर फ्यू डेज पेशेंट अवेक उन्हों बॉय वेंटिलेशन बोल निस्किन बॉय रा ऑयल तो फॉलोअप में पनी ही नहीं रहे आउनों उनसा सी इज वेरी थैंकफुल अन्य आमी पनी आम्रो वी आर लाइक वेरी प्राउड ऑफ दैट केस एक्चुअली इट वाज द लॉन्गेस्ट सर्जरी इन माय लाइफ ये से अली रामेले क्वेश्चन रहे था so, the heart and the mind is the connection between the brain and the heart physiologically. It is not scientifically proven. The brain is the signal of the brain, the brain is the heart pump, and the brain is the brain, and the brain is the brain, and the brain is the brain. So, it is a vital organ, it is not one organ, it is not one organ. But I think that the heart is the brain, and the brain is the brain, मुटुले जेसोच ने सकती जेसाई ना मुटु माजे न्यूरॉन्स हरु चाई ना 
दिमाग में हो सब पे न्यूरॉन्स होने ब्रेन में हो सब पे यो इमोशन देखी ले रहा सब पे इंटेलेक्ट पाको सब पे ब्रेन में हो ब्रेन सेल्स में हो न्यूरॉन्स पाको खाली एक और का बिना हार्ट रा ब्रेन को कनेक्शन से एकदम ही वाइटल था तर सोचने पाने से दिमाग लेने हों सा लॉजिकल थिंकिंग यो सब पे हार्ट लेते हो दाई ना सो व्हेन आई एम परफॉर्मिंग ब्रेन सर्जरी इट्स लाइक अ मेडिटेशन फॉर मी बिकॉज़ सिंस आई वाज अ चाइल्ड आई यूज्ड टू फैंटसाइज अबाउट बीइंग अ सर्जन एंड एक्चुअली माय एम वाज टू बी अ कार्डियोथोरेसिक सर्जन एंड देन आई एंडेड अप बीइंग अ न्यूरोसर्जन सो व्हेन आई ओपन द यू नो स्कल एंड सी द ब्रेन it's like a meditation for me i and also i have a huge amount of responsibilities and you know the care for the patient and how this patient will do after the surgery and how careful i should be during the procedure uh, there is some kind of anxiety as well as some kind of you know uh, responsibility at the same time but uh, i don't have any option so i have to be focused uh, disciplined you know i my 100% concentration should be on the brain that i'm operating on so uh, uh, after the surgery after i see my patient awake and moving all his hand and limbs then i feel you know happy about uh, the procedure that i have done so it's very challenging and challenging field as a whole in medical world After the surgery it depends on what kind of surgery the patient had. If the patient had traumatic brain injury that is of severe category then the patient might have high rate of morbidity that means he might be comatose for life paralyzed for life or he might not be able to uh, you know have a two way communication or uh, have a memory distant memories so it all depends on what kind of brain surgery the person had if the person had a very uh, meticulous brain tumor surgery or uh, uh, any other lesion in the brain then if it's successful then the patient might go back to normal life and have a normal cognitive life that means normal memories normal uh, you know uh, social life everything but if the patient uh, you know primarily suffers from uh, stroke uh, like hemorrhagic stroke or ischemic stroke where the brain is already damaged before surgery then such patient uh, they might have high chance of surviving with some kind of disabilities you know even minor disabilities or major disabilities like paralysis for life that's why uh, we have this awareness campaign that if the patient has some kind of uh, brain stroke any kind of brain stroke the patient needs to be in the emergency room within 4.5 hours or within few hours okay, so that we can save uh, the brain cells that are dying in his brain So uh this was the uh, latest news that I heard about the Neuralink and uh, which is a brain computer interface um so actually they implant uh, one chip that is uh, I think it's called N1 chip and it's a coin shaped uh, implant with multiple electrodes and it's implanted by a robot uh, under the supervision of neurosurgeons it's implanted on the skull and uh, the uh, electrode goes to the brain surface so uh, now they are looking for a patient who cannot move their uh, four limbs like if they are severely disabled they are trying to implant uh, this brain chip into them so that uh, as they cannot move their limbs all the four limbs they are paralyzed below neck uh, they can uh, use this chip and the bluetooth device to connect to the computer or mobile devices so that uh, when you think of something then the computer writes it for you 
or when you think of something then you can if you think of calling someone the mobile will call it for you so that kind of uh, telepathic ability is developed in these patient after the chip is implanted so maybe um, uh, in future um, it's it's like quite uh, promising that uh, these uh, patient who cannot move their hand and limbs they can wear some kind of uh, devices and they can order the device to walk for them you know you know so they're just trying to build maybe advanced human cyborg or something like that uh, so first um, they will try in a disabled patient and maybe later on to a mass military i am not sure but uh, think of it as if you're thinking of switching on the light in a room and you can just switch it by staying here and you know thinking in your brain then that's your link i guess it's quite promising so this is a very common uh, you know uh, modifiable risk factor that you can have uh, uh, so modifiable because you can uh, you can choose to not to drink alcohol and not to smoke cigarette right so uh, there are lots of scientific evidence that uh, smoking uh, will uh, decrease your uh, brain health by uh, you know creating inflammation oxidative stress aging process in your brain you know your uh, blood supply to brain is uh, decreased there is carbon monoxide associated with it so there are lots of factors that can uh, you know be detrimental to your brain health if you smoke cigarette and uh, i've found in my uh, career that the patient who smoke they have a higher tendency to have a brain stroke than who do not smoke and the smoker's brain uh they tend to you know heal very uh, slowly and uh, they have more uh, disability later in life than in non smokers brain so uh, same goes uh, with alcohol consumption if you are uh, taking alcohol daily uh, more than the recommended amount then it's a detrimental to your brain health and your overall health so uh, talking about uh, brain health uh, maybe you know that brain is uh, just made of fat and water right so it might be surprising uh, for all of you to uh, know that uh, good fat is good for your brain like uh, you know traditionally we used to have ghee supplement and coconut oil you know mct oil uh, even omega 3 fatty acid that is fish oil that you have uh, salmon fish uh, fatty fish um, tuna any kind of uh, uh, food that gives you omega 3 fatty acid is good for your brain health overall brain health and anti aging and uh, improves uh, cognitive function your memory will increase so uh, it helps you to uh, prevent Uh, cardiac issues as well what is good for your heart is also good for your brain so so you know heart and brain is interrelated so you have to keep your heart healthy so that brain is healthy if you if the heart cannot pump blood to brain so brain won't have sufficient blood and oxygen so that will lead to brain diseases so uh, omega 3 fatty acid is very helpful supplement for brain health and uh, for the for the uh, eating habit for the uh, you know wholesome food that you eat uh, you have to always uh, incorporate super food like avocados uh, egg whole egg organic eggs and uh, you know avoid junk food because junk food contains lots of preservative it's made out of seed oils um, and it's processed so it has lots of harmful chemicals that can uh, you know uh, uh, cause inflammation in blood vessels that carry blood to your brain and heart so you have to be very careful on picking food and what you eat and check what you eat 
and the main thing is uh, you should avoid sugar spikes if you avoid sugar spikes in your body like if you take carbohydrate or uh, white sugar your sugar spikes goes up and then that spike creates inflammation so if you have a you know constant level of sugar in your uh, blood that is blood sugar level then it will lead to longer life healthier life and aging processes delayed so we need to concentrate on what food we are having like we we cannot have a um, carbohydrate whole carbohydrate food we have to uh, incorporate high protein diet and uh, like you asked about uh, white sugar and zaggery both have the same amount of glycemic index but zaggery is better than white sugar but i would say uh, you can go for uh, monk fruit sweetener or stevia if you are more concerned about your health and also if you do intermittent fasting if you incorporate intermittent fasting in in your daily life with uh, at least 30 minutes of strength training then uh, your aging process will be delayed that means your organs will start to heal your organs starting to heal means you will have a longer life and a healthier life and disease free life so always check what you eat and change your lifestyle uh, you know, uh, discipline is the key in uh, maintaining good health and longevity. This is Dr. Vyas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to Vyas Media Network. Thank you.